Now, a cut to the head is quite a difficult thing in some ways because you can do what you can to hold pressure on there, but you won't want to be able to bandage it very easily um, and to apply direct pressure because you're going to have to put the bandage around its neck to hold it in place. So with this, again, it's a perfect example of, of using uh, collar clots for uh, dealing with this bleed. Now, we obviously need to be careful with any cut like this as what other damage is done, but the key important thing we need to deal with to start with is stopping the bleed and getting this animal to the vet as soon as possible. So if there are any other head injuries you know, within concussions and things like that as a result of this, uh, or fractures, yes, they're very, very important, but the number one concern we've got is stop the bleeding and get them to the vets as fast as possible. So take your, your collar clot out. Um, this sort of cut, um, you could use the small collar clot. Um, it's just a right on the boundaries of the size of it, but um, you can always tear it in half and lay it across. So here we've got the larger one. So what you can do is lay that right over the top. Uh, if you want to, you can tear it in half and you can even put two layers of it. So you've actually got that right on top. You need to apply pressure. So you can apply direct pressure over the collar clot or you can take your dressing or your gauze pad and put that on the top as well and literally hold that and apply pressure. You want to leave it there until the bleeding has stopped, which should typically happen in three minutes or so, um, maybe five minutes at a push. While you're applying that pressure, what's happening is the collar clot is reacting with the blood to actually stop the bleed, but also to promote the healing. Um, so keep it there. So while it's on, obviously, um, make sure at that point you can get ready, get someone else to get the car ready, to take the animal to the vet as fast as possible. And then once you've got it on there, if you need to secure it in place, you can use adhesive bandage, or you can use the uh, standard HSC dressings, whatever you've got available. Because that's now set on there and the blood's reacted with the collar clot, it will hold itself in place fairly well. So now it's in place um, and you can check to see, make sure the bleeding stopped, you can put the bandaging on, hold it in place, get the animal to the vet as soon as possible.